Hey, welcome back to the happiest place. My name is Lakia Shanae, and I definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in again. So I have been able to get a beer, as you can saw in the title. It's called Guayabera. Forgive me if I'm saying it incorrectly. This is at the Cigar City Brewing that's located in Tampa, Florida. I have not had a chance to visit the brewery, but hopefully I will soon. This is a Citra Pale Ale. Pale Ales need to be about 45, 50 degrees maybe, as um, far as for temp is concerned. It is inside of a um, can also. The best time to really take advantage of any type of ales or double IPAs and IPAs, and this is just an extra fact, is to get them like very fresh um from the actual date that it may have been canned or bottled and this one here is showing a date of january 9th so we're definitely a month old with this in a few days so we definitely want to take advantage of this as much as we can again citra pale ale if you know anything about the citra hop the citra hop is a more of course, citrusy type of flavors so we're going to do a few things we're going to pour of course we're going to look at color and we're going to of course look at the carbonation of the foam and we're going to also check out that taste so let's definitely go ahead and get into it you're here for the review so let's stop the chit chat so let's see that sounds good already so we're going to tilt this at a 45 degree angle. I'm making all kinds of messes here. And we can see already that it has a nice foam head in here. In my opinion, it definitely is a it's very white and crisp foam head. It does have different types of bubbles on the top. I'm not sure if you can really see that. I can tell right now it already smells grapefruity, citrusy. It puts me in the mind of springtime or summertime. And as you can tell, it's winter, so you're definitely ready to get some of that, you know, Florida weather. Although I'm not in Florida. So, so we're going to take a look at it here. So now looking at this, it's kind of it's kind of like a golden type of color. It's not it's not clear as you can tell I can't I can't really see through it too well but it definitely um, gives me the you know gives me that that uh, feel when I'm looking at the foam here in the glass it does you know um, make me feel happy about this beer so let's move this around a little bit to get some of the aromatics going because again we eat with our eyes and nose and so you definitely want to be able to savor the taste of this yeah, it smells very good. I smell a lot of grapefruit and mango. Like, I'm excited. Yeah, it smells really, really good. So we're gonna just wait just a second. We're gonna try to warm it up a little bit with our hands and you can just kind of cup it a little bit because you also wanna know some of those um, ales in this case and inside of your IPAs, you'll want to kind of warm it up a little bit. It starts to taste different and things like that as it kind of sits. So even when you go to restaurants and you're going to those different places to get your drink, I know that we're kind of eager to want to just gulp it down, but I didn't use a frosted glass this time. I'm getting better with it. I, um, I like them to be cold, but I still want this to be you know, I don't want it to be too warm, but I want to get the most out of the flavor. So we can definitely take a look at it. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to see if I can still get some of those notes. Because sometimes when we do um, first smell it or the unbottling or can opening, that we may get some smells and aromas that are different than before. So let's see if anything left or things are still the same. I still can smell that grapefruit, that grapefruity smell. So nothing left to do it but to taste.
if I have to think about anything, it's just like me eating a grapefruit. If that's not your thing, I wouldn't recommend this. Again, Citra Pale Ale. Um, on the actual can, or if you've never had this, it does tell us that um, for traditional Latin, guaya berry is actually, it's a shirt. Um, the um, hop it has tangerine, lime, and berries to this American Pale Ale. So definitely where I'm getting a lot of that um, citrusy, grapefruity-ish is actually more than likely, it's definitely the um, tangerine portion. It's almost like the um, rind or the effervescence when you, you know, you first peel back that orange and it's crisp. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm really getting. As far as for aftertaste, it's almost like I bit into an orange. Um, that's all, you know, any type of citrus fruit. That's what it tastes like that I'm, that I bit into that. Everybody's taste buds are different. If you definitely want to try it, you can. This does come in, come in a variety pack. So you're more than happy to definitely ch check them all out if you want to. And you can definitely do that. Would I, um, would I get this again? I would. I, I like these bitter, dry taste flavors. I'm not sure what this, what this word is I'm looking for, but I do like that taste. Um, if you um, have uh, never seen a Guaya Bear shirt, <laughs> it's one of those shirts that has like a lot of pockets on them. And again, that's where this kind of came from. It's, it's, um, it's a more of a Cuban style shirt. So yeah, I'm glad I tried it. Was not a bad drink at all. I would definitely purchase this again. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Again, thanks for coming to the Hoppiest Place. Good night.